I'm Karen Greer at the CBS 46 Live Desk, joined by Morehouse School of Medicine's Dr. Stephanie Miles Richardson. And Doctor, a major concern about the spread of COVID-19 is keeping it from spreading. So talk about the flatlining or flattening the curve, it's called. Yes. So flattening the curve is, uh, it, it results from the public health techniques of um, uh, dis dispersing the crowds. So the irony is, the, the paranoia that folks have that's making them run away from each other is actually helping us to limit the spread of the virus and then hence the curve will flatten. So you don't get as many cases, you get the virus spreading out and there are fewer cases um, uh, around. And again, we, we want to, we hope that the seasonal change changes the outcome, but the flattening of the curve is actually what is happening when schools close, when people go home, uh, when people kind of stand down. Sporting events cancel, those kinds of things. Absolutely. Now, doctor, we've noticed a lot of people starting to wear masks to protect themselves from catching the virus. How useful are those masks? So the masks are uh, recommended for healthcare workers. And so um, the best thing to do is wash your hands. It's hard to believe that it's that simple, but the, the virus actually enters the mouth and nose. We think maybe the eyes as well. So if you keep your hands clean, don't touch your faces, you should not be infected. Fact from fiction, if you got your flu shot, you're safe from the coronavirus. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Two different viruses. All right, and can you get COVID-19 more than once? So usually when you have a virus, you develop antibodies. And those antibodies protect you from the virus. That's what vaccines do. And so we don't have a vaccine for this virus because it's new. But once we have a vaccine, it will be made on those antibodies, which will protect you from reinfection. And are there different types of coronavirus? Absolutely. Absolutely. And things like this running off of store shelves, it says it protects you, can disinfect from the human coronavirus. So I'm so glad you asked that question. Coronaviruses are a class or a group of viruses. So often people are saying the coronavirus. It actually has a complicated name, SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2. The, the first one was the SARS virus. So within the last two decades, we've had SARS, folks know about SARS, we've had MERS. All of those are coronaviruses. Okay. The thing that they have in common is they all cross species from animal to human. So that means that they're called emerging infectious diseases. And we don't know about them, so we're learning as we go. Dr. Stephanie Miles Richardson from the Morehouse School of Medicine, thank you so much. Thank you. And from the live desk, Karen Greer, CBS 46 News.